Hello folks and welcome to Talladega, Alabama. It is race 10 of the 2012 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season. It is the Aaron's 499 from Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. And we take a look down at the free camera. Have that giving it poised above the starting grip, giving us a nice aerial view as the field is they prepare to roll off. Take a look at some of the stories that we're going to be looking at. Uh, right now, uh, we have Roush, Fenway, and Penske. Obviously, they swept the first four spots. Matt Kenseth is on the pole. The outside pole is AJ Allmendinger. Will they finish there? We know Talladega is the great equalizer. We'll set to see how it pans out. Dale Hart Jr., he is riding a high. And after that victory at Richmond, he snapped that long win the streak. Can he continue it here at Talladega? And when we come to Talladega, it's always not will it happen. It is when it will happen, the big one. Uh, it happened early at Daytona. It happened early in the nationwide race. When will it happen here today? And we are going to take a roll on the grid. And we do see the pole center, Matt Kenseth. It's at his second pole of the season and the Best Buy Ford Fusion. Beautiful paint job, and we're gonna go roll back, scroll, roll behind him. Take a scroll behind him, I should say, and that is the two of Brad Keselowski in the Miller Lite Dodge. He's trying to move up in the points. He does have the one win at Bristol earlier in the season. He wants to get a win here, and he feels very confident about his car and we see Tony Stewart there and then we see our car we got the beautiful craftsman colors here today and we're starting well in the back in 24th we did win the nationwide race so hopefully we can pull off the weekend sweep here beautifully done and beautifully prepared car and we are going to take a look at the starting lineup for today's race and as we already mentioned before, our pole sitter is Matt Kenseth. He is alongside A.J. Allmendinger. Row two, we have Brad Keselowski. We have the other Roush car, Greg Biffle. Row three, Casey Kane, who finished second in the Daytona 500, alongside of Jamie McMurray. Dale Earnhardt Jr., he snapped that long winless route at Richmond. He will roll off seventh today, alongside of Joey Logano. Row five, we have Jimmy Johnson and Jimmy Brady. So we have a pair of Jimmys over there. Row six, we have Clint Boyer and Kyle Busch really struggling, really needing to turn his season around. Hopefully he can do it here today at Talladega. Row seven, we have Travis Quapple and Kevin Harvick. Row eight, Marcus Ambrose and Trevor Bain driving for the Wood Brothers. Row nine, we have Carl Edwards and Casey Mears. The tenth row, we have David Reagan alongside Eric Almarola driving for the Petties. Row eleven, we have Denny Hamlin alongside of David Gilliland for Front Row Motorsports. Row 12, we have Michael Walchup, and there we are, right beside him. We're starting in 24th, way in the back, but you know it doesn't matter where we start here at Talladega. Row 13, we have Jeff Burton alongside of Tony Stewart. Row 14, Tony Raines and Kurt Busch. Row 15, Bill Elliott, a two-time Talladega winner who one time came back from two laps down under green to win this race back in 1986. Dude, it was 1985 he did that. Alongside of Paul Menard. Row 16, we do have David Stremme and Juan Pablo Montoya. Row 17, Martin Truex alongside of David Rudiman. Bobby Labonte, who won here in the spring of 1998, alongside of Josh Wise. They were in row 18. Row 19, we have Landon Castle and Regan Smith for Furniture Row Racing. Row 20, we have two-time Talladega winner Texas Terry Labonte alongside of Dave Blaney. Row 21, we have Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon, who had to go to the rear of the field. His car was disallowed in qualifying, so we're going to see if there's going to be any infractions at the end of that. His time was pulled. He will start at the rear of the field. And riding shotgun on the field, we have Michael McDowell driving for Phil Parsons Racing in the Curb Records Ford. And as the field does roll away, it is a beautiful day here at Talladega. Um, no chance of rain this time. We did have a chance of rain in the Nationwide Series race, so we're looking for about mid-70s today. And as the field is going to be headed, rolls away, uh, we are going to take, I'm going to take a step back, and again, we're going to let you enjoy the racing. Anything happens, of course, I'll break in. I'll come in with a mid-race report and be at the end of the race also with the post-race. So take the time and enjoy the race, and we'll see you then. 
showed the piece we did with the start finish line mike how many guys would have won here if that line had been in the middle of the trial and you're one of them i would have won i would have got one more that's right a lot of onboard views for you today and you see a lot of devices in there to help Drivers keep their cool into the trioval where that final move must be made to get to the finish line and victory lane. Talladega is ready to race. Green flag is in the air. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go.
And just like that, our day is done. The big one happens at lap 10. And Tony Stewart looked like he tried to make it four wide and went into Montoya. And everybody piles in. And we come down and we hit a flipping David Reagan. Looked like we broke his flip. He finally stopped flipping once we hit him. Yeah, Tony Stewart looked like he made contact with Juan Pablo Montoya. Martin Truex is right there, and we literally had nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere. And then we come down, we hit the front of Menard. And then it looked like Johnson got into Reagan. Reagan came, it was that transition from the banking that got him flipping. Another view. And yeah, it was Tony, for some reason, I don't know, the spotter thought he thought he was clear or what, but right into Montoya and pinned Martin Shurex right up in the wall. I see Kyle Busch around, David Stremme, Trevor Bain, Dave, Dave, excuse me, Dave Blaney. And there's Reagan taking a wild right on board, Tony Stewart. That was a wild ride for him. Two cars flipped in this wreck. Okay, we'll get in aboard the plot here. And just everybody piles in. And there's Martin Shurex, he got time. pinned. Three wide. Here we are. It happened so fast with no time to avoid. I hit the brake. Just the momentum sent me down the track. Back up into the wall. Definitely got in it. I can't see. Hit, it hit one more time for good measure by David Reagan. And we are done. From the aerial view. And lap 10. Uh, just like Daytona, Daytona happened early too, and just wild racing right away. I do love, ra I love this track, this version, the 2010 uh, revamped track. It's so realistic. And David Reagan goes for a wild ride, hits us right in the driver's door. Denny Hamlin, he's also involved. Look at that, upside down, right up the bank. You can see the sparks coming out of there and right into us. So, a lot of cars taken out in this one. And take a look at the list. So, I'm counting up to 21 cars involved. That is a big list. Bill Elliott involved. Saw Jimmy Brady, Jimmy Johnson. So they're going to be headed back to green. And normally at this time, I, when I have a DNF, I would pretty much say that's it and just fast forward it to the end of the race and see what the winner is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to actually um, just let this race simulate out and let the story figure uh, sort itself out. And I will have this, the whole race, the rest of the race will be simulated. Um, so as I step out, I'll let the action speak for itself and I'll break back in with any updates. Our day's done, our car's junk, uh, so enjoy the rest of the race.
Levin had a problem on the bottom, probably had a game. Ball stacked to top here. Seven. Seven very top, very top hard, very top hard. He's seven. Find that 12. Find the 12. He's going to have opening in front. Shut this shit here. He's seven. Nothing out front. Nothing out front. Three. Two. One. Tight.
Three middle. Three middle, half in front of the 48. Still three middle, lined up. Half in, nothing. Half in, nothing. Joey jumped down in front of Jimmy now. Still three middle. Half in, half. Tight in, half. Tight in, half.
Four tires, five, four, three, two, one, one o'clock on the right.
right, we got caution number two coming out on lap 45. And Marcus Ambrose gets pinched in the wall, goes around, collects Bobby Labonte and Kevin Harvick. That was, it looks like it was just those three. I don't know if it looked like, almost looked like Matt Kenseth kind of came up a little bit. You know, it's the end of the race and we're all, everyone's trying for the win here. This will have a better shot. Now you look at it, Matt Kenseth, like Michael Waltrip collide. Waltrip gets into the back of Harvick and up into Bobby Labonte and then Marcus Ambrose. And they go around. Keselowski just squeaks through on the top. Here's on board Matt Kansas. Doesn't get a better. Oh, yeah. Gets into Michael Waltrip. Here's Brad Keselowski's on board. Down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Hits. The brakes and just gets out of the throttle and he makes it through. So we're going to get the restart with about 10 laps to go. Casey Kane is up front. So while you enjoy the, I'm going to step out while you enjoy the finish of this race and I will be back at the conclusion. Who will win? We'll find out.
you now. On. Coming to the white flag. The hole behind the 43. No help behind the 43. Back to get help. He'll come back to you here. White flag right here. Mirror. Come back to you. Pack tight. In line. You'll come back to the checker. Gap of one to the one behind you. Behind the 43. Then the 38 behind the one. Even. Still on you. The one's on him. Still on. I was checking you. Both lanes still on. Door. Coming to the checker. Back even. Still on. Still on. The one is off of him. But he's still on you. Still pushing hard. Come and check you here. Gap behind him. Mid, mid, mid. Stay bottom till I tell you. Stay bottom till I tell you. Move up, move up. Move up. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Scotty. Good shit, boy. All day long. My bad. My bad. All right, and Greg Biffle gets the victory and his first win of the season, third win for Roush Fenway Racing. And kind of had a feeling that one of them was going to be in victory lane after today's race. A thrilling, exciting race, even despite the big wreck earlier. So Biffle does the burnout. He will head over to victory lane with a win here at Talladega. He did win a qualifying race at Daytona back in February, so we knew how strong their restrictor plate program has been. And we are going to take a look as he goes to victory lane, the results and how they ran today. Biffle holding off. David Rudiman, great run for him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was a lap down after collision. I guess he collided with Kurt Busch prior to the restart to the wreck. He ended up losing a lap, stayed out, and a timely caution. He was able to get back on the lead lap, come all the way back to finish in third. Jeff Burton fourth, Ryan Newman the top five. Michael Walter was leading on the last lap, which was not able to hold off the charge. Comes home sixth. Regan Smith, Terry Labonte, a top ten. Matt Kenseth in ninth. And A.J. Almendinger rounding out the top ten. Casey Kane led a little bit of this race. He belted back to 13th. Bobby Labonte in 14th. Michael McDowell. Uh, the last car in the lead lap was Kevin Harvick. Jeff Gordon had some damage in that wreck, so he really wasn't able to keep up with the field, but he was able to stay on the lead lap. And we look further back in the field, and the 27 cars are finishing the race. Elliott was the last car on the track, two laps down. But all the drivers back here, McMurray, Brady, Castle, Shremi, Truex, we had a terrible race getting caught up in that wreck, so that's going to hurt us. We were running good prior to that wreck. Uh, Montoya and Stewart. And you look further down, Jimmy Johnson, Denny Hamlin, 42nd and 43rd. Uh, we take a look at the point standings now. We're 10 races in. Matt Kenseth now 29 points ahead of Ryan Newman. Jimmy Johnson is third. Jimmy Brady fourth. Dale Hart Jr. is up to sixth this third place finish. So really seek a little bit of momentum for that 88 team. And we fall all the way back to eighth. We're now 69 points. So not a finish we wanted to have today. Uh, we hope to bounce back next week. Uh, Tony Stewart is ninth in points, and Brad Kislowski still holds on to the top ten, the tenth position in points. Remember, this top ten automatically qualify for the chase. And we'll look at the drivers below that cut line. Jeff Gordon, right now, he still has that win. He is still in the top twenty in points. Um, further back, he's further away from the top ten now, so he really needs to get things turned around here uh, if he does want to make the chase. So as we wrap it up from here, as we look ahead to next week, it is the Lady in Black Darlington for the Southern 500. From the, I've had the, I think it was the, I'm not sure what track version of that I had. It was the 2012 version, I have to go back and look. But it, anyways, it's a track that actually races a lot. I, I really enjoy how it races. 
So we'll have that up probably sometime in the next few days. Uh, I want to take the time and thank everybody for watching the video, all the likes and all the love, and keep the subs coming. And we will see you next race, and you have a great day. Bye now.